everybody welcome back to my youtube channel welcome 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 today i'm going to be shaving my face with one of these i just i just got a pack from i think the i think it was walmart i think i got these from i don't know i've had them for a minute i've been wanting to do this for a minute and i'm finally getting to it these are just eyebrow and bikini hair trimmers. Um, you can find them pretty much anywhere. They're like $2 for the pack of three. They're very inexpensive. Okay, now before we get into this, I'm just gonna put a fair warning out there. I am not an expert. This is my first time doing this. I would not recommend shaving your face with a normal razor. I would recommend shaving it with one of these. They're safer. They am not, they're just, they're better for your face. They're meant for your face and not for your your legs or your armpits or any normal razor what that's meant for so i would definitely recommend investing in one of these they're very cheap like i said you can find them pretty much anywhere um yeah but like i said i'm not a professional do not do what i say do not listen to what i say just do your research before you go out there and just start shaving your face okay so i hope you guys enjoy watching and let's just jump straight up into this so i just got this little three pack of this eyebrow and bikini trimmers um it's just like a face a face razor i'm super excited to see how it works i know how it works i've watched many of them so far but i'm super excited to see how it comes out i've been having this allergic this allergic reaction to something i have like bumps like little little tiny bumps all over my forehead and they're really bothering the living out of me and i have no clue what it was from and i'm just waiting for them to go away so i'm just gonna take this little pink one i am so scared of these things i feel like it's just going to cut my face and i feel like i'm gonna have like a big gash and <laughs> i'm gonna be rushed to the emergency room but no joke i am i'm not gonna lie i'm scared but i think it'll be good i think it'll be good anyways okay so i took off the little protective layer i've watched I feel like the main person that I'm going off of from here is Jacqueline Hill. I watched her do hers a long time ago and I don't know. I just feel like my main reason for it is not only so I can apply my makeup and it look better because obviously I have peach fuzz. I don't get anything waxed on my face. I just don't like the way the wax feels on my face when it's that hot so I don't really do anything except for my eyebrows but i do have my eyebrows myself i don't let nobody touch my eyebrows you could not pay me to get my eyebrows touched so we're just gonna start on in i guess oh my gosh i'm so scared you guys i don't feel like i'm scared no i'm scared okay so like she said i don't think i'm gonna pull my skin taut i think i'm just going to start but i'm super scared because i feel like I you can't see the side of your face as much as like people make it seem like you can see it so we're just gonna start oh my god can you see that Do you see that? That is disgusting. This is such a weird feeling. Oh my god. Do you see that? Look at <clears throat> Wow. This is crazy. Look at it still on my face. Wow. This is insane. No joke. I think I'm going way too hard. But I feel like I have so much hair on my face right now.
Okay, I'm gonna start on my lower lip. If you guys don't know, if you haven't been watching me for a minute, I nared my face, God, a few months back. And it was uh, one of the weirdest experiences ever. I mean, it worked, but it was the weirdest feeling. And afterwards, it coming back was, I mean, it just wasn't comfortable. Let's say that. Starting on this side. The amount of hair that is coming off of my face right now is literally insane. Do you see that? That is disgusting. And that's only a little bit. I am highly grossed out <laughs> and creeped out. This is disgusting. Okay, moving on to the eyebrow. I feel like I'm most scared for the eyebrow because I do not want to cut my eyebrow off. Dang, that works good for in between the brow. I apologize if y'all can't see the best because I'm too busy trying to not cut off my whole eyebrow. This is crazy though. I remember her sit Jaclyn Hill saying to get underneath the eyebrow because if you don't get underneath the eyebrow that it will look super super weird but it is so scary to get underneath the eyebrow You know, one thing Jacqueline Hill didn't mention when she made the video is the sound of it cutting all the hair and the skin off of your face. Disgusting. Like, it makes, like, a, a crinkly sound. Like, I don't know how to explain it besides, like, like, high definition, like, scratching, kind of. It is the weirdest sound. Okay, moving on to the forehead.
Now she mentioned something in her video about the, her nose being the funnest part because most of the dead skin comes off. <clears throat> Please let the dead skin come off of mine. I feel like you guys can't see it. I don't know about that. I don't feel very comfortable getting straight up in there like that. Okay, at this point, I kind of went over everything again. You can tell that I'm super, like, shiny now. I don't know. I feel like I didn't get everything, so I tried to go over everything again. It, for the most part, it feels pretty smooth. You know, I'm not going to lie, I probably missed a few places. I mean, this is the first time I've ever done it. But, like, I think it looks pretty damn good. Like, I am not going to complain at all. This razor is so freaking disgusting and dirty. And there is, like, peach reds all over me and all over this table. And it's just, mmm, disgusting. But I definitely think 100% that it is going to help with everything I mean you should see I wish it would pick up everything that's on here I don't know if you can actually see how much like dead skin and disgustingness is on this thing but it's pretty impressive but yeah this video is gonna be how long it's gonna be like 15 minutes I think but I mean, it looks good. It looks really, really good. It feels super smooth. I mean, the feeling itself is completely worth it. I tried to get, like, as much, like, kind of underneath my jaw, too. Because I feel like I had a lot of hair down there. But dang. Okay, so the exfoliation itself is super good. And the way it looks is wow. Like, it, you can tell... Like, look, like, I'm just, I feel so baby butt smooth. But, yeah, I'm super impressed with this so far. I would definitely recommend at least once just giving it a shot. I got this pack of three. I think they were, like, a $1.98, $1.98 for all three of them for the whole pack. And, but there's a whole bunch of different brands out there just... Find the one that works best for you. I'm definitely not going to stick with this kind. I definitely am going to adventure out in because there's probably sharper ones. And the sharper, the better. Um, but yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me shave my face today. It was definitely a good experience. Let me put this out there. That I am not a professional. This is my first time doing this. And uh, don't listen to anything I say. Just watch. Because... I have no knowledge of this besides what I've watched from other people. So, do your own research. Do what you think is necessary before you just go out and start shaving your face. Do not shave your face with a normal leg razor or armpit razor or any kind of man, woman, regular razor. Go invest in one of these. Like I said, they're like under $2 for three of them. You can't beat it. Okay, so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in my next video